Hi everybody, it's Ian King, founder of King Sports International, author of a number of books on training. I've been involved with training the lead athlete now for over 30 years, but for the last 15 years I've also had a, a very big focus on developing the child athlete. What I've been able to do is have practical experiences, extensive personal and professional experiences connecting the, the child from the time of birth through to basically even beyond the time of retirement because some of the athletes I've worked now are coming back to me and they're in their 50s, etc. So I've been able to observe a complete cycle um, from zero through to 50 plus, and it's taught me many lessons. What I want to do in, talk, in this session is talk about what we'll be doing in our two-day course, Supercoach. Now, I've watched and I've, I've assisted, I've consulted to, I've advised uh, coaches in, in more sports than I can remember in multiple countries right through the elite level. I've, I've lost count of a number of national coaches that I've worked directly with. So I've been able to gain an incredible uh, range of experiences in terms of coaching from both the child level right through to the, uh, the elite level. And I've put together a number of practical ideas, a number of practical concepts that are aimed to, to supercharge or, or turn every coach into what I call the super coach. In other words, to help you fulfill your potential. Obviously this is something that if you're coaching at any level and you want to become a better coach, it's something that I, I believe you'll be attracted to. But it is certainly not limited to the top end coaches. This is a program for coaches at any level because there are so many ways that we can help you become a, a better coach and very quickly. Now the course I'm referring to is a two day program so I'll have a more than adequate opportunity to get practical, to demonstrate to you. This is not just the theory, this is just not me reading from a textbook. This is me actually demonstrating to you what I'm talking about and therefore you'll see it put into, into use in real world. So let's go through seven of the things that we'll be covering in this two-day program. First of all, let's talk about the relationship. I think one of the earliest challenges a coach has in dealing with the, the athlete is what should my relationship be? Should I, should I be a, an authoritarian figure? Should I be a father figure or, or a mother figure? Um, should I be a friend? You know, just how should I position myself with my relationship with the athlete? And I think it's a very important decision to make with the athlete, and it's a lot more simple than many people believe. But having said that, I, I am amazed at how many um, paths are taken by coaches that are not optimal in this regard. So what I want to teach you in, the, in this program is, for the first very starting point, how to position yourself in your relationship with the athlete. Secondly, uh, what I'll share with you in this brief overview is, is boundaries. The athletes are looking for guidance and it's up to you to set the boundaries. And there are some simple, really simple but really effective strategies that I will teach you in a very short period of time how to set the boundaries for the athletes. Now, I want you to know from, from the outset that I'm not big into rules, I'm not big into in, in an incredible list of rules, but having said that, there, need to be, there does need to be boundaries, and there needs to be boundaries for, for no other reason that when uh, a person's behaviour interferes with the outcome for the group, it becomes a, a problem. So I do believe in boundaries, uh, and I believe in the boundaries being very clear, but how you communicate to them, that's probably the greatest difference in how you communicate it and how you reinforce it. So that's one of the really powerful things, and it's just a practical skill that you'll pick up in a very short period of time, especially once you see me demonstrate it. Next one I want to talk about is culture. I've got a saying that culture is king. That's how uh, strongly I feel about culture, but the question is, do you understand what culture is? Do you know how to get it? So culture will shape the outcome in sports at all levels, in all, in all countries. It's, it's a common thing that runs right throughout sport as it does, I would say, through society. And understanding how to develop an optimal culture will be the foundation from which your success occurs. And when I'm referring to success, I'm not just talking about the school board success, which is more relevant to the older athlete or the more mature athlete. I'm talking about success in achieving your objectives as a coach. So what I want to do is teach you uh, some phenomenal techniques in how to develop culture. I want to give you the ability to look at a sporting environment and identify the positives and the negatives of their culture very quickly. Because if you can troubleshoot a culture very quickly, you, you'll have a real head start into how to change that culture for the better and, the how, the, and therefore how to positively impact the key performance indicators. Then we're talking about fun. Now, you know, having go out and have fun is, an, is a mantra that I hear often in sport, but I hear, I hear it more from lip service than any other uh, reality. So, so for me, the, the consumer here is the, is the athlete, and unless the athlete is, he's got a smile from, um, 
you know, cheek to cheek. They just can't wait to get back to training with you uh, unless you're hearing reports that you know, over 90% perhaps of the athletes are telling their parents, we just love what we do when we're training with Coach X. Then I suggest you've got a problem because having fun is a pretty simple thing to do. In fact, I believe sport is simply extension of play and therefore it should be fun based and play based. We'll be talking about this a lot more during the seminar. So for me, fun is not lip service. Fun is a reality, but it's not something we have to tell someone to go out and have fun. It's something that we build into the, every aspect of our training so that it is naturally occurring. Communication. You know, once you've been out there coaching all day long, seven, six, seven days a week, multiple years, you really learn that if you're not efficient with the communication, it can be very tiring. I often see coaches um, really do it tough out there communicating with athletes, uh, and I understand that. I, I, I understand fully what they're going through. And what I want to do is give you some real simple practical strategies that you can implement very quickly that will change the way you communicate so that it will be far more efficient for you. Because ultimately, sports performance is about efficiency and coaching should be about efficiency and communication gives you that efficiency. Communication allows you then to focus on high level things when the time comes rather than always coming back and communicating on about the basics including the boundaries of behaviour etc or the cultural expectations. So there's some real um, strong keys to communicating that I'll be able to share with you in a practical sense during the seminar. Now the development of the athlete, I'm, I'm pretty firm about this. I believe that as a coach we have the obligation to develop every single athlete, not just the athletes that appear to be the better athletes today. And in fact most of those ones, and especially the younger age groups appearing to the best, well, won't actually come through. The athletes will come through, the ones that possibly today don't look like they're the best athletes. And that's where we need to understand the individual and understand the maturation and all the factors that contribute to performance at any point in time. So to understand what it takes to, to develop the athlete is, is very important, especially taking this into account. One of the greatest challenges facing the uh, coach of a young athlete is that the athlete will physically mature. So that no matter what you did, they will get better. Therefore, it's really difficult for a coach of young athletes to isolate what amount of the change came from maturation, like natural chronological maturation, or what amount of the change came from your coaching. And because coaches fail to, to, to determine or even hypothesize about this, they conclude that all the changes are they doing, therefore their program must be effective. Now you could actually be slowing down the progress, like you could be producing half the progress of what maturation alone would produce, which is a negative, it's, it's, it's suboptimal, it's not optimal, it's, it's not on, but you could wrongly conclude that you've had a positive impact. So this is one of the greatest challenges facing the coaches of young athletes, understanding the measurement of development. And so something I really want to go into depth with during the seminars. Now, this is our seventh point, and what I want to do is just touch upon self-belief, because again, it's my belief that the coach has an obligation to develop the self-belief of every single athlete. In fact, I believe that sporting success is built on the level of self-belief. And therefore, building self-belief should be built into every single activity, every single communication, every single day with the athlete. And yet that's a, a skill and a competency that I really see in coaches, and one that I will be very, very committed to helping you develop in your own coaching style. Because if we do nothing else but develop their self-belief, we've done an amazing thing for them. So here's seven of, of the many things that we'll go through in this two-day seminar. I trust this has given you a little bit of an insight into what we're going through. And I'll say it again, this is going to be practical. This is not just theory. And that you will walk away from this seminar with a level of competence in the practical sense that you came in, that you didn't have when you came in. And I, that's something that I'm very, very committed to, changing the way that you coach. Now, we won't give you complete mastery in two days, but we will change your coaching competence so much that I'm very confident that afterwards you'll be sending me emails saying, Ian, the, the impact that this has had and the athlete's feedback has just been phenomenal. So I look forward to you giving yourself an opportunity to advance yourself and therefore helping the athletes in the really critical development of their, uh, of their development as a human being as, as well as an athlete.